And we're live, hey everyone. You boo. Sorry, we're not live. Oh, uh, very late. Wait, no, wait, I have my accent ready. Wait, you boo. No, you boo. Very late, Broadway review. Do you hear? <laughs> <laughs> well, we saw Frozen. Mm -hmm. This is for, this review is very late. It's probably going on three weeks late, if not more. Wait, when was exactly we saw it? December first. Yep. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm two weeks. Two weeks. Two. Yeah. Yeah. Two weeks. Um, not for lack of wanting to review it, just lack of time. Time. Or whatever. But we got to see Frozen. Mhm. Mm um, um, Frozen has been on the list probably since Frozen came out, right? It's Disney. It's uh. We like Frozen the movie. Mm -hmm. Um. I'm trying to think. So I just got very distracted about how window cards are not. They do. Oh. Ugh. Can't look at them too long. Yeah, look at that. But that's not, yeah, that's not, I don't know. Oh, wait. Yeah, I guess. But. Yeah. This side is not so, it's when you look under. It's like when you're looking. Like when you're standing up, it's not so. It's like when you're underneath it, oh. it's like right. Do you it. notice it when you're standing? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Um. Oh. Go back to the review. Sorry. Yes. Back to the review. So, um, um, we went to Frozen, uh, specifically to see Aisha Johnson. Aisha Jackson. 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 <laughs> to see Miss Aisha Jackson, who is the the um. Anna um, standby, the standby for Anna, who is a black woman. So uh, I want to say maybe about a month or so ago, she had posted her Anna dates, and I was like, ooh, 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 I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go. Actually, I think it was around the time that we saw um, Beautiful and um, uh, in Slave Play. She had her dates. Obviously, we got those two tickets. I was like, mm, hopefully, she'll have dates soon. And then, lo and behold, she posted new dates and said, all right, I'm going to go catch it this time. And we saw it. Not that I didn't want to see Patty Murian or anything, but funnily enough, um, is it Casey? Mm -hmm. Casey Levi? Casey Levy? Casey Levi? Mm -hmm. Was not on as as Elsa. Uh, was it her standby? Yeah. Her standby is, uh, what is her standby's name? Alyssa Fox. Alyssa. I knew it. I knew it. I knew her name. Mm -hmm. Alyssa Fox was on. So we had the two standbys on. And so, yeah, it was a fun show. You know who I was kind of disappointed? I was kind of actually looking forward to see. Not disappointed, but I was looking forward to see um, Ryan. Ryan as Olaf. Ryan as Olaf. And she's a woman. Austin Lutch. Yeah. For her. Austin Lutch. He was fine. But I just, I don't know. I just, I was. Yeah, I like the idea it. of seeing mm -hmm. her. Mm -hmm. um, so that was fun. Um, uh, Aisha as as Anna, she's so adorable. She was just really adorable. Like I was watching, I was like, she's so cute. Like I don't know, something about the hair and all those wig changes that Anna has mm -hmm. to go through. It was like great. And you know, what was really funny is. Um, Right, the 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 young Anna and Elsa are are not children of color. Mm -mm. They're you know, and or at least not visibly. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess they wouldn't be of color if they're not visibly. No, of color. There but, are some people of color who visibly don't look. So of then color. you're not. The person of color is the ethnicity. Oh wow. Well, okay. All right. But then you don't. Okay, yeah, we don't want to get into that. But um, they're you know they're just the the original, not the original, but you know the the girls, the little girls that are usually on when Patty and uh Casey, Casey are on for the show. So you know they were well, in um. You want to build a snowman is basically like a, a montage, right? Of, mm -hmm. Yeah, they go from little 
to not grown but you know their young adult selves and so <laughs> when it switches from who plays uh charlie uh charlie tassone mm -hmm. Tasso, mm -hmm. to aisha I, w I was expecting a I don't know like a clap or like a mm -hmm. like oh yeah all right, here we go the story's about to start mm -hmm. but it didn't get it and then it occurred to me the audience is probably confused mm -hmm. yeah one half the I thought that was gonna happen yeah <laughs> half the audience is like children six and under and then and then and then the rest of the audience members are probably busy doing other things like trying to keep their small children quiet or something but it was hilarious. Yeah, it, it, was, was was, yeah it, it, it kind of stumped people for a bit, but it was fine. It was, it was. I will say, I'm kind of sad that we missed. Not sad. Sad's not. That we missed um, Hercules. Uh, Jelani. Jelani, in the role of Christoph. Christoph. Sorry. Do you want to do a synopsis of Frozen? Okay. Well, Frozen. For those who aren't familiar with Frozen, it's about two sisters, uh, two princesses who are sisters who's one, uh, Elsa has, um, was born with magical powers and snow, uh, snow powers, mm -hmm. like cold powers, and, um, she uses them, you know, to play with her sister until one day she accidentally hurts her sister with her powers. And her family has to call, well, in the Broadway show, they have to call these mountain people instead of trolls to come help. They're not trolls in the show. They are mountain, mountain people. people. We'll get more into that. Oh, okay. um, <laughs> um, so uh, they wipe out uh, Anna's, memory. Anna's memories about Elsa ever having power, and then they separate the girls to kind of keep them both safe and, you know, keep um, Elsa's powers under control. Anna f doesn't understand why her sister just suddenly stopped, you know, being a sister, you know, to her, and she grows up lonely and, you know, a little kooky. She spends a lot of time by herself. Their parents die one day, and the next time she really gets to become open to the 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 city, the town in which they, you know, their, their people govern is Drew Elsa's coronation because she now hit of age to become queen for Arendelle and Elsa's at I guess her peak powers and you know and you know all the stuff that she's been through for all the years kinda Elsa just needed to control her tricks. Yeah, she kinda <laughs> creates an in internal like winter over, you know, her land and she runs away and Anna meets this prince who has, you know, he, he has his of his own. He has, you know, what he has a he has a kingdom. That's a kingdom. Uh -huh. Not have a kingdom of his own. He has a a secret, you know, agenda. Until your motive to be able <laughs> to like this relationship he's building with with Anna, and Anna goes out to find Elsa because she, you know, it's. She basically turns it into was it Winterfell? Um, Winterfell? Yeah, Game of Thrones. Brace winter yourself. is coming. Winter is coming. Like she basically, you know, winter could last for a short amount of time, but it could last for like thirty years oh. in Winterfell. But um, she and they like so she's trying to get the Elsa hmm. to, to to help her, you know, change his back. Mm -hmm. She runs Wait, into. Did you say why? What happened? Like why she's going after Elsa? I missed it. I, I said she turned into. I said she was dealing with a lot, and her powers kind of. Oh well, the directly it's because Anna asked Elsa to marry Hans, and and um Elsa said no, so then Anna got upset, yeah, and then Elsa got, got upset, upset and she couldn't control her powers. powers. Yeah, yeah, and then she caused like a and ran away yeah, and a storm and ran away. Anna went after her, and she you know ran after her not really thinking much about how she was going to actually find her. Mm -hmm. I guess so she runs into a guy named Kristoff who has a, a reindeer named Sven and he helps her the navigate uh, the snow. I want to talk about Sven so bad, but keep going. Yeah, <laughs> to navigate the snow. 
until they find Elsa and this oh I forgot to talk about uh how Wesselton wants to uh take over Arendelle basically he uh-huh. he kind of felt like suspicious things were going on in Arendelle because it was such a closed off place for such a long mm-hmm. time he's kind of using this 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 opportunity to kind of see mm-hmm. you know Arendelle and because Hans has ulterior motives he's kind of helping the girls it appears as if Hans wants to, to help, help but it's Anna. Not Anna but it turns out he just he just really wants to help himself to help himself so he can have his own kingdom because he has this whole song about being the 12th in line for the drone I mean dude like come on like just get you know like you can't change your birth order like he needs to chill like okay anyway so um Anna's going on this quest to find Elsa find Elsa Elsa's like I'm not going back there I'm having fun here by myself I'm letting it go I could do all these cool tricks with my I was trying to hide and they're like okay mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. Can you make it back to like regular weather? Cause you know we were not prepared for all of this. And Elsa's like, oh, well I don't know how to do that. I just know how to make it happen, not take it away. And they end up fighting again, and she ends up hurting Anna again, which is what she was afraid of and trying to stop from doing. And then she, uh, they have to get Elsa back to the. Turns out Kristoff knows the mountain people as well. They raise them. And they go back and they're like, oh, it was her again. Oh, man, what happened? And, you know, they're like, oh, but Crystal, she's good for you. We'll save her. But um, you also, you know, think about being with her, being with people. Because Crystal is kind of like this jaded, mountain, solo, mm-hmm. loner guy mm-hmm. and everything. So, anyway, they're like, oh, we can't fix her this time. It hit her heart this time. So very similar to the movie. Yeah, it hit her heart this time. Sorry. <laughs> the only way this will fix it is an uh, act of true love, you know, a true love's kiss or whatever. Or true love, sorry, true love can fix her heart. And so she's like, oh, great, give me back to Hans, you know. And Crystal's like, yeah, Hans. Low key's like, because he started, you know, actually feeling things for Anna. So they get back to the castle. Hans is like, yeah, as soon as you die, I'm going to just take over. Uh-huh. And thanks, for, you know, Elsa will handle her. Because they grab, you know, they, they found out what Elsa was. And um, so Olaf to the rescue. Mm-hmm. Olaf comes and helps and saves the day. And it turns out the true love is the sister's love. Who knew Elsa put herself, or Anna put herself in the way to save Elsa. That was kind of cool. Yeah. So yeah, that's my synopsis. My synopsis is always so long. But anywho. That's it's very similar to the movie. You want to um, talk about the set? Yeah, so the set was very... We thought the set it was... was kind of underwhelmed. Yeah, it's very basic. I thought Frozen on Broadway, you know, you know, in typical Disney fashion was just going to be like so, extra so, and so magical and so and, yeah. and we was not transformed the way it's what magic you see and mm-hmm. when I'm thinking the magic and cursed child which mm-hmm. is just like visually like stunning and yes. wow like I can't believe this is happening yes. sort of way I thought Mary Poppins was more magical there was a bit more magic surrounding Mary it's a bit more mystery and supposed to do more tricks that made me go ah uh-huh. You know, and then I also thought... But I also wonder, are we feeling this way because we're older? Because we've seen more theater now that we... we, we expect more. You know, we expect it more? Or is it is it perfectly fine? I'm thinking if I were, like, a five-year-old, that it would probably be the best thing I ever saw. hmm But... I, I thought it came to Broadway very quickly after the movie. Did. And I thought maybe... It could have benefited for more time to be more visually stunning. I mean, Disney theatrics does have a bit more money, and I also think the house that it's in is also very small for Disney True. theatrical thing. So maybe that's why I can't with those giant theaters. Of yeah, like, the sets are very basic. I mean, Elsa's ice is basically just um, uh, uh, panels, mm-hmm. and you know, digital like you know, ice, which is like it's cool if I just do this on a wall and like crackles I'm like okay 
it's mostly yeah, it's mostly sound. Yeah, it's mostly and sound and, it. and pictures, and I'm yeah. just kind of like. Okay, and I also, but you said you needed some wind, Joy. I needed some, some wind. <laughs> See, Little Mermaid, I thought really transformed you under the sea because mm-hmm. when you're in your chair, you hear bubble sounds. bubble sounds like you're underwater. And I thought, if you ever seen the Little Mermaid, I thought it was great how they made her swim mm-hmm. when she wasn't on her skates and how she swam to the surface, mm-hmm. the boat coming down from the ceiling, him tumbling under the water. Mm-hmm. I Drowning. thought that was pretty cool to see you know i also felt i just felt like it did that the visuals a bit well i mean too bad they couldn't use the luke fontaine tina's there but now but i mean well before tina mm-hmm. was there you know it's pretty filled up but um what was there before tina uh you know uh charlie but that was a while ago though. yeah uh, so it was empty they it were was... doing like like sm- like limited engagement uh. stuff there too um but yeah i think the sex kind of just i needed it to be cold in there and it, like and also they gave us snow at the end but mm-hmm. it i got more snow from a christmas carol mm-hmm. slava snow show slava snow show you know like elsa created this huge winter effect and we got none of that i wasn't burring i didn't feel <laughs> cold like you know like the actors are dressed cold. I want to feel cold, you know? You, know, I just, I felt like there should have been some wind, you know? There should have been more snow coming at mm-hmm. us. Like, I feel like at the end of the first act, which I normally don't get too many technicals about, like, how they should structure mm-hmm. acts there, but I felt like for Frozen, at the end of Let It Go, Elsa should have let the snow go so that at the end of the first act, we were like, oh, snap, wow. Like, I felt mm-hmm. that. Like, I feel like, and I also feel like, and mom felt the same way, too. Let It Go was so short. It, it should have been extended for Broadway. Like, really? Yeah. We really kept it the same length? Like, are you kidding we me? We needed more. Yeah. There were no stairs. You know, you think about the movie, like, Elsa's going up those stairs. She's building the <laughs> staircase. I'm like, we could have did more with that. Yeah, they could have. The built- stairs were like, a, it was like a backdrop. And I was like, no. It was just like, she it, didn't it, was change like it was like four steps. It wasn't a lot of stuff. We needed to change heights. Yeah, we, we needed levels. We needed so much more than they gave us. I agree. It it I just agree. felt very lackluster. And, and I, the new songs were also like, meh. 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 Wasn't feeling the new songs at all. I think the only like new song that really kind of like, not Huga. I don't know. It's the only like catchy one to me. Everything else is like, mm-hmm. all right, I guess. Yeah. I yeah, I expected more from the music. I think too. there was a song that that Christoph and Anna sang that I kind of was like, okay, mm-hmm. I see where they're going here. I wanted a little bit more. Shall we look? Yeah. Huga 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 huga. Let me stop. But really though. I liked that song. It, it, it just didn't. Yeah. Too good. All right, here we go. Anna Hans, Anna Christoph. What do you know about love? Was that it? Is there another Anna Christoph one? No? No. Maybe that's it. Maybe. Anna Hans, Christoph, Anna Christoph. Yeah. Yeah. So. Maybe that. And I don't know. I just. I think maybe it was a bit too similar to the movie, too. Right. They, they, it it would have benefited from varying a little bit. Yeah, I feel like it would have. And I didn't have the most pleasant seating experience. I'll get into that later. <laughs> but I also, I just, I was underwhelmed. Like, not that it was bad. I was just underwhelmed. Like, I'm one of those things that feel like Disney is for all, all ages. And I think it should be able to reach everyone. Mm-hmm. And I could see if Frozen was your first Broadway show, you thinking it's the bee's knees. I mm-hmm. can see that. It was nice to look at the costumes are great Mm -hmm. the cast is diverse oh also mm, costumes okay if we could just go back to let it go Mm -hmm. her costume change where was william ivy long when you needed him i who did the costumes did he i hope he didn't do it because i would feel so bad if he did yeah the magic wasn't there it was not there like if you've seen Cinderella on Broadway, that is a costume change. Like, 
uh, amazement. Like, oh mm-hmm. my goodness. Did I say Reese, Reese Lye gave us more costume? Yeah. Well, you might be well. Um, director, choreographer, scenic, and costume design. Christopher Orem? Mm-hmm. Loving it. He did both? You could do both. I guess so. You could do scenic and costume? I guess so. What? Okay, let's see. His work on Broadway is Huey. At the booth, so that a play. Uh-huh. Wolf Hall Parts 1 and 2, Winter Garden, The Cripple of Inishman Court. Oh, I wonder if that's the one that had Danny Radcliffe. Evita, The Marquis. Cat on the Hot Tin Roof at the Richard Rogers. Additional work includes Red at the Golden Omelette with Jude Law at the Bro. So it's at the Bro. Really? This really says the Omelette with Jude Law. Frost Nixon. That's a movie, right? Mm uh-huh. hmm. At the Jacobs, no, it's not. Mm. Macbeth, Park Avenue Armory, Kingsway at the Band, and Billy Budd at the Band. Yeah, I, I just the costumes were nice. I just felt like the Elsa's costume change could have been hmm, better for that. Like it needed to be dramatic. It needed to be more. I don't know. <laughs> It was, I, I, and I remember seeing the costume change. Was it at the Tonys? Did she do it at the Tonys? Maybe. She did a costume change somewhere. And I remember thinking, oh, maybe that's the, that's the one that that's they're, the showing. One they're showing us, you know. Because they don't want to give away, like, the real magic. But yeah. I'm like, oh, no. No, nope, that it. was it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Cinderella, they didn't use the real costume changes that they used in the show. Because mm-hmm. they wanted, they didn't, they wanted they to wanted keep. They wanted surprise keep it secret. I don't know. I just... But to, to move on to some more good things, I thought Sven was great. Sven was great. Let me look who did Sven, right? I think the puppet? I think we got Adam. Oh, you mean like who made, designed it? Yeah. But who did we see at Sven? We saw there are two, two men who play Sven and you know why because it's a very physical role. Like they're on like stilts. Oh, we saw Adam Jetson, yeah. He played Spin. I thought I I know for a fact he's at physical therapy every other day. <laughs> the way he, he's on like still see He's great. The looking. way he has to move his body, like he's and he's like, you know, it's just, just Oh, big. it's right here. Michael Curry. Uh, oh, good for you, Michael Curry. Yeah, I thought Spin was very well done actually. Can I read it? It uh-huh. says Michael's approach is unique as he chooses to design and fabricate with a long-term team in his Oregon studio. Hmm. Oh, good for him. The scenic designs, puppetry, and performance effects from Michael Curry Design have been the cornerstone of shows for the past 30 years. Did Michael do is best known for his work with The Lion King on Broadway, multiple Olympic opening ceremonies, Met Opera, Cirque du Soleil, and other worldwide spectacles. So no, I think if he did... War Horse would be here. Uh, well, I would just like to say he he knows what he's doing, obviously. Mm-hmm. He's very good at what he does. The guy who plays Finn is like, I, I kind of wish at at um at Curtain Call that he came out without the head on so that we oh. could see his face. Because, mm-hmm. you know, he'd come out the stage and you wouldn't know what he looked like. I mean, I so wouldn't know. He's probably giant. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> he's a tall guy just from the vlogs, but... And very like fit, but it's Who'd just you say like, we saw? Adam Jepson. Adam Jepson. It just you know, it's been Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hmm. He's the Chicago Cinderella original Broadway cast. Interesting. I wonder who he was in Cinderella because they did a lot of um, you know, the the actors as um like creatures and things mm-hmm. in Cinderella. So I wonder. Uh, Maybe he was a tree. Wizard of Oz, the Scarecrow. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. All right. Very physical, clearly. Yes. Um, yeah, I thought, I thought the, the spin the was great. The other spin, this was his Broadway debut. Oh, really? Wow. wow. Imagine. Imagine that being your Broadway debut. But his TV credits, TV film credits include Here's Me Live and Peter Pan Live. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, it's just how they have to, like, be on, like, their bodies. I just... just moving out a man after my own heart. Yeah. Sorry, go on. Yeah, Spin was great. I thought, uh... uh I thought, uh... 
yeah that was great again i needed more like physical effects i needed more 4d 4d <laughs> yeah i needed to feel the cold i needed to feel the how wind. did you feel about the ending when like i was like being like frozen to death I thought that was cute. That was cool, right? Yeah, I thought it was cute. They used the people as a snow. Yeah. That was cute. I guess the, oh, one of the biggest question marks probably in this production to me was the change from, um, the troll, the the stone people. Yeah. I said troll people. The stone people being... Stone troll. Yeah, yeah being... Human? Yes. Because they weren't human, human. They called they, them people. Yeah, but they had tails. tails. And they had to be used the, the, the brown, the brown <laughs> actors to be them. And I was like, mm, I don't know. Yeah, I don't I'm know not about sure. That. And also, they had like locks. Yes. And I was just kind of like, interesting choice. Why does whenever someone has to be very like, do, 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 like beat it on my drum type <laughs> person, you know, like a rhythmic kind of like. Mm, you know, people, like, they always have, like, locks or, like, hair that's, like, matted together. And I'm just, like, what's that all about? Like, is it really that? Is it? I'm not 100% sure. And then also, when, you remember when when Kristoff was, like, calling to them? It, it sounded like, 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 pseudo, like, um, um, like, kind of, like, as if it, like, some sort of African dialect yeah. or something. Because in the beginning, in the show... The mother calls instead mm-hmm. of bringing them to the people. The mother calls them to her, mm-hmm. and they come to like the window, and they're very like they have like glowing eyes. And I'm just yeah. like, are they people, <laughs> or are they supposed to be something? Because they said people. I was a bit confused by that. I feel like if they needed to be people, they could have just been people. Yeah, they didn't need tails. No, maybe they maybe they just wore different clothes. Like maybe they wore more natural looking clothes. Yeah, just been, like you know. Or maybe they look like like sheep herders. They're mountain people, you know. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. Or they look like you know they lived in like the Alps of like Tibet or something. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. You know, like I don't know. It's very like it's supposed to be like Nordic, right? Yeah. So, so the that the 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 opening song was actually written by Vueli. Vueli. It was written by Froda, Frodi, Froda, Jelheim. Was it out? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Did they use the hey 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 I don't think so. Did, I don't remember that. This is why we should do reviews as soon as possible because now I'm starting to forget. Yeah, and I can't remember. I know they didn't do that ice breaking song that they started the movie with. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. I just knew you can't tell me that wasn't going to be in it. I just, you know, it just, it was Stronger wasn't, than one, stronger than ten, stronger than a hundred men. I think I would have been a bit more able to enjoy the show if I wasn't sitting next to a very annoying two-year-old, which I didn't think two-year-olds could be, could go to the theater. I thought you could not be under four. Maybe it's, Most theaters say... No one under four is admitted. And that should be for Disney, too. You think so? Yes. I guess because it's considered family. I don't know. Yeah, you could be. It's a little more lax. I, that's not fair to. Just said you could be a family with a kindergarten and older. Yeah, because (laughs) when you think about it, most heroes can't even sit to watch TV. True. Even for kids that like to watch TV, they're not usually sitting and watching Mm -hmm. it. They're usually moving about playing you know they're not solely focused on the tv not not usually i'm saying usually and i was sitting next to this family and this child was two years old i know two-year-olds i have a class full of 12 two-year-olds <laughs> i i was like and i think this child I, she might have been younger than two she or she or she was a very new two or yeah. she just had a birthday like <laughs> like i she one could not sit on her mother's lap. No, we had 30 minutes. She could get ready to go into this. I, <laughs> she was, like, kicking me. She was, like, talking. She was, like, crying. And the mom, she was moving back and forth between the mother and the father. She had her bottle. She was, like, leaning. She couldn't sit up and, and stuff like that. And I remember just, like, shaking because I was just, like... <laughs> 
it should not I should not have to deal with this. Like it's not fair. If she cannot sit in her own seat and see the show and watch the show and if she does I don't even think she had a seat. She should not be in the theater. This is not an airline. You don't get lap children. <laughs> like what is this? Like that's not fair. And also at any time they could and they came late. They came right late. And I was like, Oh, see now y'all are not even giving them a chance to settle in because the show's gonna start. And Disney has a thing where you can stand outside and watch the feed because they know sometimes kids need to get up. So they should have got up and watched it outside. I'm sorry. Like, and right when the show was over, they zoomed out. I think they knew I was so pissed with them. Because <laughs> I was like, it's really not fair to the people around you. I mean, and I was like, the girl was the one girl? kicking the lady in front yeah, of her? Yeah, the lady in front of me was tight too. She was like, Something about she kept crying for Elsa and wanted to see Elsa and the dad started singing the songs. I was like, you're not at home. I Disney productions need to be a bit better with that. Like, I do realize it's a family thing, but also, no. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. But if you're going to do that, you need to go to like an autism friendly performance where your kid can move and be free to make noise and stuff like that. I don't know. I just feel like for a Broadway show, you actually have to have a child who is able to sit there and concentrate because this is also what ruined Aladdin for us. And we were with the kids, and it was it was upsetting me because I couldn't focus on the show because I'm focusing on their bad day to have. This is not their <laughs> fault, but you know how can I enjoy the show? I'm telling you, you need to sit up. You need to like stop talking, or you know we can hear you. Shh. But I. In all, in all, I would say it was good to see Aisha as Anna. It's nice to see that representation out there. Frozen is a pretty diverse cast. The Kristoff is a is a man of color. Um, so that was oh, nice shout to out see. for for the new Kristoff songs because you know in the movie all he had and was the reindeer, reindeer song. Yeah. So it was nice that he got me. yeah. So Sorry, yeah, go that um the cast the guy who plays the king is a black man. You know a lot of the 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 cast members are color you know people of color which is nice to see it's even though because the audience sure enough was it but um yeah it was nice um nice to see that representation on stage so um if you want a family friendly show frozen is it mm-hmm. bye bye